guys welcome back to the channel if you're in here i'm Bree, and i'm vince and today we've got vince's birthday haul yep a box from our friend hector and a 135 dollar mystery box from boom loot boom loot you know we uh opened one of these boxes already we, we pulled out the fred flintstone water buffalo dude mm -hmm. how cool would it be if we got barney in this one that's what i'm hoping for that would Is be that wishful thinking maybe but Listen, I'm still going to do it. Sometimes wishes come true. Or we'll get something else. But I would also like the holographic emperor. We still need yep. to pull that one. So yep. that would be awesome as well. And there's a bunch of fun stuff. I'm not even looking at the top hits right now. Just the way things have gone. But before that, it was my birthday a week and a half ago. We can, actually, on Father's Day, believe it or not. I got the double whammy this year. Um, my sister-in-laws know me very well. They know what I like. They uh, let spoiled me, you. They, you know, honestly, I let me tell you why I wanted to show this in a video. One, it has a lot to do with what we do here on the channel, anyway. But two, I don't because it was like a hustle bustle kind of day. I don't feel like I got to give give the gratitude that I that they deserve because I yeah, have three beautiful sisters. Because they're way more thoughtful than I am. I'm not gonna lie. You're not thoughtful. That good. They're okay, they're better with they're, that kind of stuff. They are I better. I'm just gonna call it like it. We're kind of lousy, both of us are. I listen. I can't remember when did that happen? birthday for the life of me. I started Dates, putting them in the phone. I'm terrible. I started putting them I in the phone. Don't know when Vince and I started dating. He remembers, not me. No, you don't. You're right. I'm terrible at dates. I just I. Sometimes I, it comes uh, in handy though. You don't make a big deal about any holiday. Like if I don't, no. it's almost too easy at times. Okay. With that being said, let me show you what my sister-in-law's got me. Okay. So. Listen, I think these are kind of funny. And I, I don't know if it was like as a joke because you'll see what, what why I'm going to say this and what they are. But I am going to squirrel these two away. I don't even care. So she said that I could donate them or do them for a chair. I'm squirreling these away because I kind of love these. Because I will be at some point. This was the Hello Kitty. <laughs> the other one has the 50. I'm just looking at the 50 on it. And do you see the 50th laugh. anniversary? I'm Listen, I'm not that far away from 50. Unfortunately, I hate to say it out loud, but do you see this one? That's kind of hilarious. You see how she's got 50 in her hair? <laughs> so these two I'm keeping That's in, awesome. on my 50th birthday, birthday which is going to be several years. I should pull these out and put them on your birthday cake? No, no doubt. Go back and remember this video because I know I won't remember. But I'm going to squirrel those things away that's and they're awesome. coming out on my 50th birthday. It's not that far off. So I think that's going to be fun. You know, so check back in in about four years. It's not that far off. Now, my oh, other sister-in-law, awesome. she asked, she just assumed that I probably had these. I didn't buy any of the Biddy Pops yet. I know. We've had a bunch of Biddy Pops here. Not Star Wars, though. None. We bought no Star these Wars. These are my first two packs of Star Wars. I have zero Star Wars. She got me both of these, which I'm not going to open right now. Even though I probably should, but I'm not going to open them right now. Okay. Because they got the special figure. I got to see what the special figure is. That's going to be a Grogu. And I hope I get the Tusken Raider. But she, and listen. You know what else she got me? <laughs> Oreos? Star wait, Wars wait, Oreos. Are those the kind where you find out whether you're on the dark side? Yes. <gasps> Open them. We all need to see. Are you on the dark side or are you on the light side? Oh, is that what that Let's is? Let's find out. We might as well. I'll eat these in one sitting anyway. Just, I know. I'll, these will be gone tonight. Very, very far. I'm pretty... Oreos I'm disgusting with. I eat a sleeve at a time. Okay. On. You are... Red. Dark side. Ooh. Okay, we can't be friends anymore. Okay. I mean, maybe we can. But. Well, if we're not friends, you literally aren't getting any of these. I wasn't getting these any of those These look like anyways. doubles. <laughs> no, they look like double stuff, too. Now, you probably won't. I'm a machine. When it comes to Oreos... Listen, I think the past, what, four or five things of Oreos that I bought, I haven't got one. No. Not one. Dude, I'm a machine. When Between it comes to Oreos... and Luca? I'm disgusting. And you know what else? My other sister-in-law... I have, Like I said, three beautiful sister-in-laws. My other sister-in-law... Listen, maybe my brother got it. I, I doubt that they had any part in any of Let's this. Let's be honest. It was your sister-in-law. My other sister-in-law got me a couple of scratchers. We have 50 bucks on one of them. Yeah. So, like, I hit the jackpot this year. It was pretty... 50 bucks. Like, 50? They're telling me something. I, I'm something, not 50 there's yet. There's something to be said about that. Oh, and... I'm oh, just saying. 
And listen, I picked up one pop for myself. You would think it would be a grail or something amazing, right? No, it's not. But it is something amazing. A grail to you? It's not a grail, but hon. But it's cool. The hey, 501st. Hey, kind of fits the theme of that over there. 501st Clone Trooper. I could not wait to add this one. We got the 332nd Trooper, which we got two versions of. This is just the 501st. Um, the 332nd is a division of the 501st. Uh, listen, I'm not going to get too nerdy right now. but Go er, for it. Tell us no, your story. I, no, no, I'm not telling the oh, story. Oh, okay. But the, there was a 501st way back in the day that's crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. Probably won't have that. So this is my 501st. Okay. That's where that one's going. So I picked that one up. And then, hun, we said it. So Hector sent us something. Now... You don't know what Hector sent. No, this could have been a whatnot pickup. Did you trade something? This could have been a trade. This could have been a pickup. This could have been... Could have been anything. Honestly, I don't... Is it even a pop? I hope so. I don't know. Should I have checked? Probably. Right? I'm semi-frightened that you have no clue what you're opening right now. None at all. Are you really? I mean, I do it all the time. I... Maybe it's a trade. Oh no, you know what? No. You know what this is? What? Why are <laughs> I'm you sorry. You sat there, stared at it for I like 20 seconds think. straight. And then you're like, oh, you know what this is? I got this. Listen, <laughs> what is this? there's a whole reel of like wh whatnot auctions and whatnot mystery boxes that had to play through my head. It was a lot of them. I, I reached to that one. I rewound a little bit and then I saw, which in my brain, <laughs> Which okay. <laughs> boxes these were? These were mystery boxes, and oh, okay. I don't think there's a receipt in here, but I will find out what we paid for these because I've been doing that. We've been putting it in there. I don't think either one. No, neither one of these was a hit. But I'll be honest, I was pretty happy with it because the one is like crazy, kind of weird. So what did you get, Vince? We got the Impossible Bear. Bravest Warriors, we had one of these before. Not this guy, though. Impossible Bear? Yeah. The Bravest Warriors. I think it's Everybody on... Uh, about this? This was on... Uh, Cartoon like Network? Like Cartoon Network type of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Cartoon Hangover? I don't know what, what? that means. <laughs> what I mean, is that? This looks like it's in the style of, like, uh, Adventure Time. Yes. It's kind of crazy. Yes, it I does mean, remind me of Adventure Time. I kind of like that. If you look at the though. back... That totally is like Adventure Time. And huh, look at this. And they're protectors. That's nice. Yeah. N nice protectors, too. There's like a flying orca, orca whale. Yeah. <laughs> I said it was what? out there. You know what, though? Back when the... Uh, listen, back when the ad icons were the ad icons and they were amazing. Like, look at the back of that. Yeah. Like, and Buzz is not crazy expensive. I will guarantee you that there's going to be a bunch of people that reach out for this. This will be up on the website on our Tuesday Night Drops. So save your energy. Go straight to there. You guys are going to have to be super fast because it's not super expensive anymore either. But it's an amazing, amazing pop. This is yeah. like, this is like I said, when the ad icons were like the ad icons. You know, number 21 in the ad icon line, the low numbers, they it's were so just cute. so much better. He's got honey dripping off of his little... What spoon? do they call that? It's not a spoon. Comment down below what those little things are called. They that? do have... What is that called? There's a name for them. There's got to be a name for it. I'm not up on my honeybee stuff. No, so. I, I don't know. I, I was gonna. I was trying to think of something creative to say. Couldn't even think of anything creative to say. <laughs> it's like... You called it a spoon. That's as creative as it gets, apparently. That's it. <laughs> I mean, spoon, I guess, is not the right term. No. Hun... Beautiful gifts, beautiful everything. What an amazing... Uh, yeah, that was all fun stuff. What amazing little I mean, we learned there. Vince is the dark side. We knew, we knew that. We knew that all along. With that... That's questionable. Hun, $135 box. Okay. We've had some crazy boxes as of late. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what? What? Do you know what we have not done? Wait, wait, wait. Slice. I'm going to let you open the inner one. Oh, I'm gonna let you. I want oh, you to. Oh, okay. You're gonna split these bad boys. You know what we haven't done in a long time. What? I'm calling this right now. I want to call my shot, even though it's probably not happening. Shoot your shot. I'm. Let me tell you why. We have not hit a top hit. Listen, we open a lot of boxes. We've not hit a top hit. We're like a crazy, like really crazy. 
We've hit some good boxes. Not, I don't want to say not good boxes because that sounds kind of whatever. We haven't hit like a top hit in forever. Boom loot. It's been like, I bet you over a year. And we didn't even hit so the top So we're due hit. for one is what you're telling me. Yes. We're, we're due. We're due for one. <laughs> it's not. It could happen. No. Find it's, out. Come on. Come on. Good juju. Put it out Let's there. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, you, you okay. left them right. I'll I left just go, them right in order. I'll go left. You okay. go right. I'm going to let you. I You open the middle. I feel like okay. your luck is going to be fantastic for that today. Okay. I don't feel any stickers. Pop number one. E.T. E.T. Is that the, uh, let's see, number 130. It's got to be the older E.T., correct? You want to check mm, the bottom? I think it's not. Uh, no, 2016. Yeah. yeah, it it's is. It's definitely the older one. Yeah. Because it's 130. The movie line is probably up to 1,100 at this point. Okay. So just judging by the number. So, guys, I, I, let me just, quick little, I like to give these little lessons every once in a while because mm -hmm. I said it about the Cheerios. When you see these numbers up at the top, am I pointing to, I'm up at the top? Maybe I should point to the right number. <laughs> so that's in the line. So like in the movie's line, there's one through, let's say, 1,100, like I said. The ad icons are... And the lines are right underneath a couple hundred. where it says pop right. and it says movies. Yeah, you got movies right there. So this is 130 in, in the, the movie's, movie's line. line. Right. So that's the way you kind of read it. When you see those lower numbers, and 130, believe it or not, at this point, is a lower number. 130 was back in 2016. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now we're in the thousands of pops, you know, for the movie line. I wasn't thinking that was a low number for some reason in my head. But yeah, that yeah, is actually no. weird. With some of the lines, no. Like, here, here's a good example. Like, animation, this is number 26. Where were we? I don't even know what the date was on this. But, like, at Icon, this was 2018. You guys won't be able to see that either. But we're at 21. So it kind of, it's something you could look at. Now, with that being said, are we going to pull a high number or a low number out of this one? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't we'll know. find cool. out. We do have a sticker. Ooh, double sticker. Mm. We're talking rectangle and a circle. <laughs> I would say it's, sure a, about that? it's a smaller circle, so I'd say glow in the dark if I had to guess. Okay. Okay. All right. You I'm ready? I think what was on that page, it had glow in the dark at all, if anything. Emperor Palpatine? But was it too stickered? I don't think so. I don't remember. Pop two, we have. Oh my God. Hello Kitty. Another Hello Kitty. <laughs> Maybe I should keep this one too. This is, oh, this is the flocked one. That's cute. Oh my God. I love the way they did the Amazon sticker too. Yeah, they made Hello it. Kitty. Classic. Speaking of low number, 28. It's 28 in the Hello Kitty line. Do you see we're at 76 over there and 75? Oh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Dude, what are the odds that we, I got two Hello Kitties for my birthday and another one. I just added three Hello Kitties to my collection. That's amazing. I, I'll i be honest. I kind of love that. And I wonder what the value is. I was going to say, that's what I'm trying to think in my head. Where the value is on E.T. and where the value is the on e. Hello Kitty. The E.T. is OG. I'm guessing it's at least a $35-ish dollar pop. Hello Kitty? Is it 30 I don't know. Because it is older. I would say it's in Are the we at like 50 probably. bucks? Are we? Is this like an $80 uh, pop right here? Two stickers. This should, okay, two stickers. Round, One flocked. Round. One feels rectangular. Okay. How are you feeling about this? I don't know. Ready? It's probably not an NFT. Number probably don't have three. Barney. Coraline. Coraline. We've had this one before. Which one? With the rain jacket? Oh, this is the diamond oh, edition one. Yes. With the raincoat. Oh, the diamond yes. edition. Coraline are sneaky expensive. They are. You know that? Yeah. I didn't realize... The last one that we had, how much it was, actually. Yeah. And then I looked. I think it was like an $80 pop. One. You think this is probably around the same price? It's got to be, I, I think. I would say, yeah, it's probably... Because Hello Kitty and... Uh, yeah, between 70 and 80. I would say 75, something like that. Man, and Boom Loot, I'll tell you That's what. Good, their boxes are always... Box, yeah. They really put their like top notch... That is one thing about Boom Loot. Because we said it in the last video a little bit, most companies go like 7 to 10 when they're doing mystery boxes. They have a damage run almost every week. Not every mm -hmm. week, but every couple weeks or every other week, something like that. They do their damage, and that's where they put their 7 to, you know, 8s and 9 ishes. These are all, like, amazing. And yeah. is this the order we're going with? I think so. 
Do you I, agree? I agree with you. Yeah. Do you concur? I concur, my uh, sweet wife. <laughs> Why did your head to say it that way? I, I was trying to I'm think of something. Con- I'm a little concerned right now. I was trying to say something nice, but not like make anybody feel weird. No cringiness? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I said sweet wife. Okay, hon. Let's do this. Let's check the video. Because I'm curious now. Did we get to 135 today? Or is this going to be another one? Like, we've been on a streak of stuff. Let's check, though. There is only one. Wait. Two. Find out. Let's check the value. would be right, right back. back. And we're back. There's been some craziness. Hun. A lot of researching. There's been some fluctuation. You know, I said this in the last video. I might have said it in the video before that. Said it on PFO because people were asking about that as well. I know that uh, Pop Price Guide is doing some... They're changing things up a little bit of the way that they did it. And I'm saying this not necessarily in a negative way. I do think that most of Pop Price Guide... Has always been artificially high. Look, put it this way: you price a lot of stuff out, and I price a lot of stuff out. Mm-hmm. And I, I tell you a lot of times, that's probably not right because if you go to what the actual sales are, I don't think that PPGs ever really reflected accurately what things actually sell for. Mm-hmm. I think that they're starting to really crack down, and whatever they're doing, they're starting to get more inputs Accuracy. in there. They're getting okay. more accuracy, which is bringing prices way down. Yes, okay. there's less demand for it, but I really think it's more of a PPG thing, just really doing what, you know, not that they, not that what they were supposed to do the whole time, because it's all volunteer based. Like I don't want to put it that way, because I think they do the best that they can. There's thousands, like we we're talking about those number. Mm-hmm. We're talking thousands and thousands of pops at this point for multiple yeah. different lines. It's super hard with a volunteer army of people, and it's. It's not a huge army of people that have to put all these price points in. I just think that they're actually cracking down and really actually probably bringing what things are actually selling for. So with that being said, that's a long way to say we miss value once again for maybe our two second or third box in a row, believe it or not. Yeah. And it's because all of this has been happening over the last couple of weeks. I don't think this will be the last box that we're going to miss value on because you know, it's really the way mystery boxes kind of are. Mm-hmm. You know, they're guaranteed value. But even when we hit guaranteed, when you sell those, you don't always hit that guarantee. Now, with that being said, I feel like this ET is way too low. Way too low. I will probably squirrel this and away. And actually, looking back at all the pricing-wise, it has dropped significantly. This one was significantly because when boxed, yeah. I'm guessing it was at $45 because when we give you guys this the total, you'll see why. I'm guessing this was at 45 because this was in the last week or so here. And we've had this box for a couple weeks now. He's currently coming in at... $19. So he's dropped by half. Now, they got a couple sales that were... The only thing I don't like is when you use eBay sales that are on bids. I don't like doing that because there, you will be able to find some super crazy deals yeah. that one person was able to find an amazing deal. But you'll never find that deal again. I don't like that they use those. But, like, what do you do? Do you know what I mean? I feel like sometimes, though, extreme highs, extreme lows need to be Should be wiped. Out. I agree. A hundred percent agree and with you. And there was some extreme lows, which took the whole thing completely down. Their algorithm does allow for that a little bit, but it's, for me... If it's a $45 pop and there's a sale for five fifty, dollars there's something up with that. I agree with you. I like, agree with you. that's not just minor fluctuations. It, that's some I, You know, and I, before before I said all this, I should have double-checked to make sure that one was on bids. When I see 550 though, I doubt somebody put it up for 550 as a buy it now. I will almost guarantee you one for uh, auction. In eBay auctions, you'll see those crazy b- deals. I've gotten crazy deals mm-hmm. on bids before, not buy it now. And I don't think that bids reflect actual pricing because you gotta you yeah. got to strike that, like... One one in a thousand chance of getting yeah. an older not pop like this. Accurate, really. Yes, so I don't think that that's accurate either. Yeah. So that was a long discussion about PPG. Hopefully you guys find a little value with it. Because Hello Kitty, actually, I think she just went up actually went by up a like couple bucks. bucks. But I think that this is more where she should be. Yeah, because this is a su- about right. It's older, super cool, flocked, great character. She's currently coming in at $25. And I think she was around like 18 or 19 anyway. So she went up by like five, six bucks, something yeah. like that. But I think that's a that's a cool pop. Now Coraline, uh, did she drop? I don't think that she dropped. No, I think she went actually Hello Kitty, I think, stayed exactly the same. Coraline dropped for like five by like. Maybe five that's bucks. what it, I that's what it was. 
she was staying pretty steady. She stayed pretty steady. She used to be more expensive back in the height of all the Funko craze, maybe in 21 yes. or something like that. She was more expensive. She's leveled out. I think that this is more accurate. Coraline's currently coming in at... $75. So still a good, really good I hit. I called that one. You I nailed it. Right Did on. you say 75 I said 75 Well, up top. Nice job. Proud of myself. So with that being said, our $135 guaranteed value box, we got back. A whopping $119. Yeah, we lost money again. It, <laughs> seriously. Ouch. You know, it, it was... It's one of those things where we're in the midst I'm right now. I'm hoping that things start evening out soon. Well, you know what it is? Because... In the next couple of weeks here, let's say they start to get the stuff you know, back to where wherever it's going to be. You might be able to find some deals with Mystery Boxes soon. Because if this had to go off of today's PPG... I feel like 19 bucks for this is a steal. I really do. Yeah. I, and I'm not just saying that. I agree. I'm going to probably save this one. I feel like 19 for one of the OG ETs. And I know they came out with a secondary line, which would have brought this one down. But believe it or not, he was higher than 40 at some point. Yeah. So he was already coming down. Just 19, I have a hard time. you know. But the proof is in the pudding. We're going to find out as uh, you know the next whatever plays out. Hun? What's your favorite on the day? I was going to ask you that first. I'm going to say Coraline. Do you know what's crazy right now? What? I'm going to say Hello Kitty. Because it's flocked. A flocked Hello Kitty just makes too much sense to me. And I okay. like Coraline as well. Uh, I'm more drawn to the Hello Kitty for whatever reason. Okay. I like E.T. I actually like all three of these pops today. They're, yeah, all, they're all good pops, not but I'm going to go Hello Kitty. So comment below, tell us what your favorite on the day is, like, subscribe, and as usual... Guys, please ring that bell for notification. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope our, you liked our discussion on PPG today. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.